In the decades to come, all corporations will become part of something we're calling the responsibility revolution. That's integrating social responsibility into corporate culture to be truly innovative. Doing good is good business. And now more than ever, companies need to add being thoughtful, trustworthy, and responsible to their business DNA in order to compete and increase shareholder value. So the question is, what does a prototype of a green company actually look like? Aveda. It's a beauty company that says environmental pain isn't pretty and that's proving protection and profits can go hand in hand. A lot of people think, oh, if I do the right thing for the environment, it's going to hurt my financial performance. Completely wrong. Completely wrong. Aveda president Dominique Conce says getting it right with plant-based beauty has been a tough nut to crack. But thanks to sustainable sourcing with indigenous tribes throughout the world and creative thinking at Aveda's global headquarters in Blaine, Minnesota, the 30-year-old beauty company is successfully replacing synthetics with plants and oils. Aveda is considering every angle from developing groundbreaking products like organic shampoos and nutritional lipsticks to reducing and recycling packaging, even its manufacturing facilities 100% wind powered. It's not like uh, the board was sitting uh, one day and they said, let's become socially responsible. No, it's, it's really the culture of the company. A culture that caught Estee Lauder's eye in 1997 when the cosmetics giant bought Aveda for $300 million. Today, Aveda is one of the fastest growing and best performing in the Estee Lauder portfolio, delivering a successful product and message in every bottle. In an industry where brand loyalty means everything and customers are inundated by options, it's no longer a matter of, does this product make me look pretty? Does it work? The Aveda approach is, it's only good for me as long as it's also good for the world. A message more than half of its customers say they understand and hope to embrace in their own lives. Rebecca Jarvis for the Business of Innovation. Aveda has been a pioneer. What can other companies learn from it in its mission to go green? Tim Sanders is a cutting-edge business consultant who is an advocate for good values in the corporate world. Tim's latest book, Saving the World at Work, focuses on teaching companies about maintaining authenticity while making the world a better place. Tim, great to have you join us. You say Aveda is the prototype of an innovative company of the future. What can other companies learn from it? Instead of just trying to be a little bit less bad, they tried to be good and restorative by convincing everyone else to follow them. What struck me about something that, you, that you've said is you say that Walmart has had more of an impact on the environment than Al Gore. How I can say that they've be? had more influence. Yeah, absolutely. Think about it this way. More people are going to shop at Walmart this week and that are going to go see, you know, any of the movies that are out now, any of the movies at the blockbusters. Walmart is dedicating shelf space to educate people on compact fluorescent light bulbs, seven times more efficient. They've moved them from the bottom shelf to the top shelf. They've sold 50 million already since Lee Scott announced the initiative. They're using valuable shelf space and training their people in the stores to educate the consumers on organic. And this can't be reversed. Once the consumer discovers these things, it changes them forever. Just to pick up on what you're saying, Tim, I think what is remarkable at Walmart is they pick their battles and they have defined targets. Packaging 5% 2013, yep. right? So yep. they're taking a business point of view around this. They're applying it and they're being disciplined. This is not across the board. Mm -hmm. They've figured out that if you're going to be green, you've got to figure out a couple of things. One is much less wasteful utilization of resources, right. yep. whether it's electricity, whether it's gasoline, whatever it is. Waste second, elimination, step what second one. Is, second point is waste utilization, you know, mm -hmm. limiting waste, right? The third level, though, I think, and I don't know where they're going with this or not, is going to be actually trying to engage your customer yeah. in making sure I he or she doesn't waste. That Walmart has had a bigger effect than, uh, than Al Gore. Of course it has. Walmart moves the economy. It has a much bigger effect than on everything. And, and for everything better it, or for worse. For, with, between its employees and its customers and shareholders, it moves the economy. The bigger point is that these kinds of changes that happen are going to be moved by business, not by activists or regulation alone. You've got to have business leading it. Right. And that's what Walmart's doing by, by picking its battles and by moving its suppliers along with well, it. By the way, this is not just a U.S.